the Newton Coates integration formulas, along with uh, everything else that we've talked about to this point, including the uh, Richardson extrapolation and and um, Romberg integration, as well as even the adaptive quadrature algorithms that we talked about to this point, have all assumed uh, equal step sizes, with, with exception of the trapezoid rule, and you could do multiple application of the trapezoid rule. But other than that, we basically assume uh, set locations uh, for for our item uh, spacings. But with Gauss quadrature, we're able to uh, do something a little bit different. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so if, if you can just imagine uh, the trapezoid rule applied to uh, this function, so the function f of x is shown in in yellow and we're trying to integrate this between the interval from a to b and we apply a trapezoid rule to it and and we get this estimate and you can see that this whole region in here that's going to be error <laughs> right we're, that's going to be error it'll be it'll be inaccurate by by that much well um if we do something a little bit more uh, intelligent, which is sp still using the trapezoid rule, but if we determine very carefully where we place these two points, and not, not placing them then necessarily on the endpoints, but, but placing them somewhere strategically, we can actually make uh, the area in these regions, right? Um, cancel out the area in that region so uh, we can get an exact interval um, just using the trapezoid rule if if we were able to put these um, points in the right place now that's the tricky part is coming up with a method of putting these these two points in the place they need to be so that we uh, balance out any problems that we have so the way we do that is with um, a method uh, similar, it's inspired by the method of undetermined coefficients. It, it's based off of this, and so I want to show you uh, just with a simple example of uh, of of um, so we're going to re-derive the trapezoid re rule basically using the method of undetermined co coefficients. And what that method says is that the integral i uh, is approximately equal to uh, C naught F at A plus C1 F of B. And if we just know what these coefficients C naught and C1 are, well, then we'll be able to figure out the integral. Now, I've drawn two things here. So we have a, a linear function here, uh, just, um, and this is at 1, so, so F of x equals 1 and we have another function f of x equals x and we know if we have uh, the trapezoid rule for example we should be able to integrate both of these uh, perfectly now uh, we're going to derive the rule so, so we don't have it yet but uh, we should be able to get these integrals perfectly and we also know that these integrals are, uh, well, we can write out the equations for these integrals. So the first thing we have to do is see where a and b here are, is, where, where a and b are. And so we're going to say that we're centered at 0. So this point is 0. And if we're centered at 0, then this goes some distance in that direction and some distance in that direction. And so b is actually going to be b minus a over 2 because it's got to be halfway uh, cross because I said as I said it's centered and then this is going to be then negative b minus a over 2 and uh, similarly with these two they're they're located the same location so this is um, b minus a over 2 and this will be negative b minus a over 2 so then we can write out the integrals for each of these and so we have the integral and, and, and set it equal to these. So we have uh, C naught F of A plus C1 F of B 
is equal to the integral, which should equal the integral from uh, negative b minus a over 2 to positive b minus a over 2 of 1 dx, right? And, that sh and, and then we also have over here c naught f of a plus c1 f of b equals integral from negative b minus a over 2 to b minus a over 2 of uh, x dx. And uh, so uh, we can we can actually just just run through these and um, we, we, we could also figure out what the integrals are by inspection. This is just going to be b minus a and the height is 1, so the width times the height. So this is interval. This integral is going to be i equals. So this integral is going to equal 1. And this integral is going to equal, well, that's going to cancel that out. That is going to equal 0. So we have two equations and two unknowns. We can just solve for the unknowns, and we get then, um, let's say we have uh, f of a, c naught, f of a plus c1 f of b equals 0 and c naught f of a plus c1 f of b equals 1 and if we subtract these for example then the resulting equation is uh, c c1 f of b right we subtract these so that's going to go away uh, that one will go away too no good no good um, so I just realized we, we actually need to evaluate these um, or else we have four unknowns and we can't really solve it. So f of a in this equation uh, where the integral is equal to 1, f of a here is equal to 1 and f of b here is equal to 1 because you aren't this based on the same equations and f of a here is equal to um, uh, b minus a over 2 that will be negative and let's go down just a bit and then uh, f of b here is b minus a over 2 because it was just equal to x that's just the value here and the value here so we actually need to plug those in and so we we plug those in we get um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this get it out of our way and so we plug those in and so we get c naught uh, plus c1 equals 1 and we get negative b not oh, excuse me negative b minus a c not plus and that's divided by 2 b minus a over 2 c1 equals 0 uh, so we get then uh, c naught equals c1 equals b minus a over 2. So that gives us then the same uh, the same trapezoid rule because it's just c naught then c naught b minus a over 2 plus c1 b minus a over 2 or excuse me b minus a over 2 f of a plus b minus a over 2 f of b is equal to the integral and you just factor out then uh, the f of uh, the, the b minus a over 2 from that and you get f of f of a plus f of b and you can push the divided by 2 inside and you get then uh, the same thing and so this just shows the uh, 
derivation then of uh, of a f of of well of the trapezoid formula in this case um, it shows the derivation uh, using the method of undetermined coefficients and we'll see I'll I'll, I'll end this video now because ten minutes but um, we, we'll see in the next video we can just apply that to uh, to derive uh, higher order equations, uh, just just including more more of these terms.